blessable sir, blessable sir Rastafari, he is the top one If it is the king, your boy, your boss get trapped on Right away, right away, yeah King Selassie, he is the top one If it is the king, your boy, your boss get trapped on Right away, right away Yo, well, if it is king, so let them get slow I throw if it is this man Oh, shalom, shalom, Rastafari a nice telling greetings brothers and sisters let's get right into this there are some wicked uh, there's some wicked israelites some wicked people amongst i and i people that continue to spread lies and coentel and slander and blasphemy on the conquering line of the tribe of judah at amawi haile salase Let's hear the word that Jeremiah 5 and 26 says. And this is concerning those wicked black Hebrews and those wicked Israelites that spread lies, slander, false reports against Sinai, Godfather, and King of Kings, Kedamawi. Haila Selassie and I and I say this without any apology. Some wicked Hebrews, black Hebrews, so-called black Hebrews, right? Who are a bunch of broken branches, but they don't even recognize how they was broken off of the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews. They're false teachers that broke away from the real truth and the real roots. That Rabbi Wentworth, Arthur Matthew, and Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford represents. But Jeremiah says this, 526 says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of sneers. They set a trap. They catch men. So how do these wicked Israelites catch men? Well, what do they do to I and I Savior, I and I Black Lord and Savior, Shuha Moshiach? They say, you know, they hate him. But they hate the father, they hate the Abba, they hate the father, right? They may be I and I color, but they're not I and I kind. He came to his own, but his own received him not. But as many as did receive him, I and I Rastafari and the righteous among the Gentiles, behold the Lamb, behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Yehuda Moa An Bessa. Awo. So what we're going to show the eye right here, just some snapshots right here, you know, they always try to say, um, they always try to say that, you know, His Majesty is flashing some sign when we show other pics where you don't see that, you know, even the woman among the Gentiles recognize, you know what I mean? And feeding the animals right here, they try to propaganda in the media, you know, you remember back in the days, yeah. But behold him, the ancient of days. Oh, yes, he bowed. He bowed the heavens to his own glory, right? And to his word, right? To the sun. Yeah, but then wicked ones who don't want I and I to rule over them, they'll be slain and executed. Executed by the word and executed in spirit and in truth if they repent not. So we're giving them fair warning, these wicked Israelites that spread lies on his majesty look at this right here Sir Winston Churchill bowing to the king they don't want to show you that right there you know they don't want to show you that reality right there but the ancient of days dreadful king the king of kings Melech Ha'olam sees and knows right look at this the lion even bows and he bows to the lion to feed it right they all take food from his hand but his people, his people don't recognize, right? His people don't recognize here the king of kings betrayed by a kiss. You know, we'll get into that, right? But let's go forward. Look at this right here. Recognizing the glory of the king. And yes, he bowed, right? He bowed to Selassie. And look, they bowed to Selassie, right? His majesty hail up. And you've seen the picture where, where he bows, right? Where... Uh, Churchill bows, right? And I and I, every knee, right? Every Rastafari knee shall bow, right? And every tongue shall confess, Isis, 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 Yeshua HaMoshiach, I, Adonai, to the King of Kings, Karamawi HaLa Yes, the righteous recognize, bow, 
right, right here, even the bow, they bow to Selassie. All right, but what about the wicked boys and girls? I love this picture right here. They don't want to show you this picture, all right? They don't want to show you that. But instead, what they want to show you, right? And we're going to bring it around right here, right? This one even is bowing, you know, to the king. This one is bowing right there to the king. The king bowed to those who were slain and those who were fallen and wounded, right? As Yeshua, you understand what? Show no and I that perfect example, right? And this one that we started out with right here, right? Where the so-called white boy or the European bowed to the king of kings. How can they all show you that? Instead of what they want to show you, let's bring this up. We got a couple of um, seconds right here. Okay, this is Kwame Nkrumah, right? Okay, let's bring this down right here. His Majesty's visitation, right? At the Dominus hand, you know? I don't know if you understand that. But they'll show you this picture. And then they'll go around and they'll lie like this, right? Mm-hmm. We could do a nicely cut. Let's see if we can put this in before this thing times out. Okay. Yeah, got a menu that we only had a little bit of current right there, bad and current. So let's look at this picture right here. Alright? Let's look at this picture right here. Alright? Now this is from some of the wicked Israelites. They call this one Hile and Elizabeth. Alright? And then they post, they cut and paste and post right here. Hila Selassie bows to Queen Elizabeth to beg for help against Italy. And they talk about keeping the laws, statutes, and judgments, and you know, laws, commandments, and statutes, and so forth and so on. But they're broken branches. They've been broken off. Right? They've been broken off. And we'll go into that. Because most of these black Hebrew and Hebrew Israelite groups that slander and defame and spread lies and tell beer and false report and hate on the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, when you start to trace their roots, they basically are broken branches from the tree. You know what the Bible says? They went out from amongst us, right? To basically show that they were not of us. Yeah, that's where they come from. Most of these other so-called black Hebrews, back in the days, we were known as Ethiopian Hebrews, right? But some of their leaders, you know, went off, you know? Um, they went out from amongst us, you know? To really prove that they were not, as the word says, to basically prove that they were not of us. As um, John, 1 John 2 and 19 says, they went out from us, from I and I, from the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, right? But they were not of I and I. So they dropped the Ethiopian and then became black Hebrews around, like they say, the 60s and 70s. That's where you get these other groups of Israelites out there. That's the reality of that. Just, we're just giving you some some half of the story that COINTELPRO sought to stop the rise of the black Messiah and behold him. Right? Behold him. But this is a lie right there. The, you know, the, the caption that they put there. It's a lie. Right? And we just want to show you this right here. If for if they had been of I and I, if they had been of the royal order, right, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out. They went off as these wicked among I and I people, these wicked so-called black Hebrews, those who slander and spread lies and false reports and deny. The half of the story concerning the King of Kings and Christ, Kedemawi Haile Selassie. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. That's a key and significant word right there. But let's bring up the caption right here. What is this event really about right here? Now we showed you the pic right here where we see um, Kwame, Kwame and Kuma. Right? Now some of them will say, oh, look, is dancing with a white woman or something like that. He's going after um, Esau or something, you know, something or another. They might try to pop and everything. But yet they themselves, you know, will make excuses for popping off in a couple of uh, the Gentile women and everything. And you see it in their videos. They'll talk about that. Oh, we're going to be, we're going to be, have them in slavery and we can have sex with them whenever we want and all of that. You know, it's a, it's a flesh They've fallen from the spirit to the flesh, 
right? So this is all around the same event, right? Around the same event and the same time. Now, if you know anything about the so-called um, bloodlines of England, yes, there's a German connection, but there's also a black connection. They don't want to show you the black connection. And let me just put this out there. The so-called queen of England that you see today is not the same as the queen of England you see in the historical pictures. You heard about the body so-called snatches, right? Yeah, there's much more to that. Not, to, not Don't have time to get all into that right here. But let's go forward, right? Because we want to expose these wicked Israelites, right? Who would do something like this right here. Notice this right here, right? Now, let's put this over here, right? And then we have we have this uh, nitrate right on this side right here. Now, what's this one about right here? Now, there's a there's a pull out pull out a little bit. Okay, right here. You see, there's a there's a footnote right there, right? Let's see if we can bring up the footnote so we can really see what's going on right here, right? First of all, when they say that. Um, Hala Selassie was begging uh, what was a stupid lie that they say oh he bows the Queen of England to beg for help against Italy and most of the silly Negroes, the lost sheep they have no way of, because you know what these guys do is that they do give some accurate information concerning we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel and the curses for disobedience and who we, who we are, how we got over here and the basics of that you know, concerning Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, verses 15 to 68, and how this is a spiritual Egypt, so forth and so on. A lot of that is basic groundational, foundational information. And on that level, it's right and exact. But then, you know, they don't stay in their lane. They start to act like, you know, they can talk about everything in their pomp and their pride, right? And they slander the King of Kings and they lead their followers or followers astray. Now, the caption right here, the proper caption, this was in, I think, Ebony or Jet Magazine, right? This one right over here, right? Where you see the footnote, right? Okay, okay, so what was this about right here? Okay, let's read this down here. It says, um, Imperial Greeting, planting a courtly kiss on the hand of Queen Elizabeth II. Emperor Haile Selassie welcomes... Right, the English ruler to London's Ethiopian embassy. So she's coming to his embassy just as she goes to um, the inner city of London where the bankers and the Rothschilds are, right? And she has to knock and they have to allow her in, right? So she was actually coming to the London um, Ethiopian embassy of the Ethiopian embassy in London. And it says Selassie, who recently received the order of Garter from the Queen, was also presented an honorary Oxford Law degree. Now, some will go off, oh, the, that's a, that's Masons, that's, that's a, you know, Illuminati or something like that. You know, and they don't know because that, <laughs> you know, the scripture says that they are our enemies, right, for the gospel's sake. And what gospel's sake is, is, is it? It's the gospel of the King of Kings. Right? It's the gospel of the lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Oh, oh, right? But they, some of these wicked Israelites, right, will lie to you, right? Because perhaps they've been lied to as well. So we have to give them a, a, a fair warning about this. His Majesty Haile Selassie did not um, go to um, England to, to bow for help. So you can see when you look at the proper caption, Right? When you look at the proper caption on that picture and really get to see what was going on, right? And then if you compare and if you contrast, right? If you compare and contrast, let's bring this up right here. If you compare and contrast what they say right here, what do they say right here? They say that Halas Selassie bows to Queen Elizabeth to beg for help against Italy. Now, See, let's let's do the math and the facts, right? First of all, 
When the invasion of Ethiopia took place, fascist Italy, Mussolini was fulfilling another biblical prophecy where they would fight against the king of kings. They don't show you that. That aspect and the and the slain, you know, and the martyrs, those dressed in the white robes that were martyred and sacrificed, you know, um, sacrificed their lives for the cause of the line of the tribe of Judah for God in Christ. They don't point that out. Those are the saints that you read of concerning Revelation, right? That was the book of Revelation being opened up. Right. And many of the faithful black peoples over here at that time, roughly circa 1935, 36. At that time, the queen of so-called England, Queen Elizabeth, was four years old. Was about four years old. Go, go, go do the math on that. Right. You know, when his majesty, or rather when his majesty became coronated, when he became crowned in 1930, she was four years old. So if you add about six years to it, she was roughly 10 years old. I mean, does this woman here in the picture, right? Does the Queen of England, um, the, the, the legitimate Queen of England, the one that's over there today that you see that old whatever, that's not the same woman. I, I, I declare to you, and I'm, no doubt more information going to come out because others are researching and doing their research and going to bring out the facts on it. But the Queen of England today should not be confused with the Queen of England yesterday. Let's just make that very clear. It's a totally different woman and it's also a totally different time. Right. You have to recognize this 40 years in the wilderness. What happened to even the Israelites? Right. When they didn't mix what they heard with faith and they didn't enter into the promised land. It's the same thing with the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And these wicked Israelites, these black Hebrews who slander and lie. And I want to make this very specific. We're not saying all of them because some of them are waking up. Some of them are, are listening to these vids and are going and doing their own homework, even though they're saying all sort of things at first. But we're challenging them to go look up the facts. And when they start to look up the facts and they start to question their misleaders, they come out from that and they grow in grace and in the knowledge of Adonai, Yeshua, I, Hamushia, I, Adonai, Yeshua, Hamushia, Awo. So this is not what's going on. So they lie. What happened to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and not to be a false witness? Right? What happened to all of that? Of course, they will say, "Well, the Ethiopians are Hamites. The Ethiopians are such and such and such." But we're going to show you right here. Right? Let's show you something right here for a moment. Right? On Ethiopia, the first place in the Bible where we have, um, right, where we have Ethiopia mentioned, right, right, it says, and the name of the second river, Gihon, and even to this day, Gion, right, there's a Gion in Jerusalem, right, or said to be according to the Bible, and there's also one in East Africa, Right, and that is in the land according to Genesis 15 that was given to Abraham and to his seed. Go read, right? The same it is that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia, the H 3568. Well, when you do the math on that, let's see if we can do it like this right here. When you do the math on that, let's bring this up. It comes up like this, right? We have uh, Kush, right? Kush. Right, it says Kush or Ethiopia, the name of a son of Ham or Kam and or Ham and of his territory. You see where that's, that's highlighted right there? It says also an Israelite. Right? Also of an Israelite. So there were Israelites who were named after Kush. There were Kushites who were Israelites. How can that be? They haven't told you that. All they say is Ham, Ham, Kush, Kush. You see what I'm saying? Um, because they went out from amongst us. Here we go right here. Let's bring this up. Ah, look what the scriptures say right here. Amos 9 and 7, right? What does Amos 9 and 7 says? Are ye not as children of the Ethiopian, Bani Kushim, to me, O Bani Yisrael, Yisrael, saith Yehovah, saith Yahweh, saith yod hey weh hey Right, full stop period right there. So what what is this word right here? This is a prophetic word. They'll tell you this just says that they're black. 
They will try to make you think this is just speaking of the natural, the flesh only, because they're black. That's why Yahweh, right? That's why Yahweh, as they say, um, put this verse here as though they know better. See, it's that arrogance. They have a zeal, right? They have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge because they go out there and they lie, setting a trap for people. So when we start to speak about his majesty, people think, oh, he bowed to the Queen of England to get help. And, and, and at that time, she was only about 10 years old, a coronation time, I think about four years old. But definitely she was not even she, she was not even coronated until like 51, 52 or something like that. And the war was over in 1941. So what was this really about, brothers and sisters? I know some say, well, why are we spending a long time on this? We got to spend a moment on this, right? Because this is, this is an example, right? This is, this is just a sample, right? Of why things are the way they are today, right? And why many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. As Burhan and Selassie, Bob Marley said, don't ask me why. Look into the scripture. The scripture tells you already. The scripture tells you very clearly. We went to Jeremiah where it says that amongst his people, there are some wicked people. They spread, you know, they spread lies. They set up traps for the people when they're coming out, right? When they were coming out of, of uh, spiritual Egypt and coming into the knowledge of who they be, right? These ones wanted to stop the rise of the black Messiah. Yes, and these are those of our color and of our kind, right? Spreading disinformation, spreading counterintelligence. So when you see this picture, you should recognize, oh, this is His Majesty planning a courtly kiss on the hand of Queen Elizabeth II and Emperor Haile Selassie. He was welcome, welcoming the English ruler to London's Ethiopian embassy. But they'll probably tell you this is at Buckingham Palace or something like that. You know, these liars, they are liars. This is why 1 John 2.19 says they went out from us. They went out from I and I, but they were not of us. They were not of I and I. Because all of these Israelite groups, black Hebrew and Hebrew Israelite groups, the majority of them, when you trace where they got their doctrine from, where their, where, where, where their teachers got their teachings from and you keep tracing it tracing it back in time you'll find the 1920s and the 1930s and they all broke off or their leaders Bivens mainly Bivens broke off from the commandment keepers and now they want to talk about keeping the law statutes and judgment and going around lying bold facedly lying and this is not the only point this is just one of the most um uh um dramatic not even dramatic, it's just one of the most obvious that we, we could find right now in doing this video. You know, there, there are many others, you know, where they say that, oh, the Queen of England put Haile Selassie on the throne. Well, well how, how was that when she was, she was not ruler, then she was four years old. Now they'll say here, well, what was really happening here was that Haile Selassie was bowing to the Queen Elizabeth to beg for help against Italy, right? <laughs> And that's not true either, right? That's not true either. If they want to talk some stuff about, oh, well, if he's black and the Hebrew king, what is he doing for white woman? Well, the Queen of England, um, of that Elizabeth, the real Elizabeth was one sixth, one sixth going back to Charlotte Sophia. And this is where a lot of them want to link King James and link the Israelites in England and Judah in England. Some of that is true. Right? And this woman right here is one six. She has one six African or one six black, or we can even say one six Hebrew blood. You understand? Uh, she's not full Hebrew, of course not. But there's that link there. And you see, here's where they go into the hypocrisy. Right? And, and I hope brothers and sisters who are caught up in that will come out, right, from amongst those false camps that will lie to you about the obvious things. Right? Some of the obvious things they will lie to you. Right? So how can you really trust them for other things? The basic knowledge that 
you know, we are Hebrews and how we, you know, who we are, where we're from, how we got over here and the basic biblical prophetic references, that is right and exact because that is like borrowed information. You know, I'll compare these black Hebrew Israelites, they're like to the 5% nation, you know, of gods and earths. If you know their history, Clarence 13X and how much of the knowledge or some of the basic knowledge and information that Clarence 13X was able to start off a kind of a street level um, you know, the gods and earths and, and bring the Islamism, at least the nation of Islam teaching, you know, some of that basic, uh, lost found knowledge, right, came from the nation of Islam. And one is, it's the same thing with the so called black Hebrews, the majority of the black Hebrews and the Hebrew Israelite congregations. When you trace where they got their information from, you know, like the ISUPK and, you know, and, and the other kind of even the GMS, because they broke off or Tahar from this one, from that one. And you start to trace their roots back. You all you will find one name, um, Bivens. Many of them speak about somebody named Bivens. And now Bivens went out from among the commandment keepers congregation from the 1920s and 30s. Right. And that's what we brought forward, like the black Jews of Harlem and even in um, Dr. Ben Yohanan or Jokinen, as some say, but Dr. Ben Yohanan's book, um, We the Black Jews. And we have that also up on the Rastafari Groundation um, dot com, the resource page, a free PDF. You can download it, get a read. You know, get a read of that. And we also recommend for serious uh, disciples and students to get a copy, you know, be good to get a hard copy of that as well. But at least you can get a read of that for yourself and allow the half of the story of the whole Ethiopian Hebrew and the royal order of the Ethiopian. When we say the royal order, it's a kingly order. Right. Because the prophecy was to look to Africa, to look to the east where that black man or a black man will be crowned king. Right. And in him, we would find the redeemer. This is why Adam Clayton Powell said, your majesty, you are the symbol. Right. You are the symbol around which we place our prayers, because what symbol is his majesty his majesty is the symbol of the line of the tribe of judah the throne of david god in christ the queen of sheba the latter day prophecy where the queen of sheba shall rise right the queen of the south shall rise in judgment with this generation because she came from the furthest points of the earth and behold a greater than solomon is here so this prophecy is fulfilled so brothers and sisters beware of wicked black Israelites or wicked black Hebrews that maliciously lie against the king of kings and we're showing you the evidence right here so now when people see this picture they'll be like oh he was begging he was begging for help against Italy he, he can't be the lion of the tribe of Judah you understand and what they're doing is spreading disinformation ask them why are they spreading disinformation since it's supposed to be teachers and scholars and, and you trust them to bring to you you understand the fullness of it but the fact is they only broke off they, they are broken branches so the most they can give you is a little bit of truth because that's all they have is a little bit of truth but the half of the story concerning the king of kings and christ the fullness of it they cannot give it to you because they, they cannot give to you right more than what they have so brothers and sisters more to come you know, um, you know, and then they shoot themselves in the foot in a sense, you know, because when we're talking about um, the so-called uh, Queen of England, right? When we're talking about the so-called Queen of England, um, let's see if we can clear this up right here. All right. Yeah. All right. When we're talking about her, the original one, not this other woman. I don't know, I don't know where they got this other woman from, you know, I don't know where they got this other woman from, right? But she was one six, right? One six, um, you can say African or black because of that black nobility blood that goes back to the, um, you know, Ma uh, Mac Mecklenburg and all of that connected to Queen Charlotte Sophia. And this is where, you know, that half of the story about the, the Hebrews, the Ethiopian, the Hebrews, um, the, um, the Moors, even you hear some, sometimes they call it Moor, but before it was Moor, it was Ethiopian, 
right? All back to even um, George, you know, um, the black prince who started the order of the guard to, yes, a black man. So when it says that his majesty got, um, you know, received the order of the guard, right? He's receiving his own things, right? And our own things, when you know the half of the story. Owl, owl, owl. And just this picture right here is interesting too. You know, queen, uh, the, the queen dancing with uh, Kwame and Krumah. Only in his majesty's time. What happened? Life. This breath is my body. 